Good morning and welcome to another Dell Farm video. Lots of hungry faces and it's the first damp morning we've had for a bit. You can see the lame sheep over here. She's not getting any better. So this sheep here is Mary who was bottle fed by me in 2010 and has lived on the farm ever since. She's retired now, so this is the, she's not having any lambs this year. They're wanting to help, aren't they? Hey Rosie. Is that little or so we fill the red tub with rocks and then put the stone into the Kubota. My jobs today have been clearing stone off the ground from where we've had the wall built, where stone's been moved around on the farm, left a real rocky mess on the grass here. The grass is going to start growing soon, so I have been collecting it up and uh, getting it ready to redistribute around. And as you can see here, there's a really good fossil. It's a limestone rock and limestone is made up of fossils so it's not uncommon for you to find some really interesting features. Um, there's a fossil there, here, um, here, yeah. interesting. So this is water, water chlorination has been happening today. Ready for, ready for tomorrow. We're having the new water meter fitted. Good morning. It's the 1st of April. No April Fools here though, just work as normal. And no sunshine this morning. Sunshine would be much appreciated, but it's very dull. So we just noticed today that this lovely tree here that's been gnarly all winter is starting to come into leaf and that'll make everything look very beautiful. It's been a cloudy day today and uh, now it is, I don't know, six o'clock, half past five and we're being treated to the skies clearing on our bit 20 of to six. 20 to 6 on our bit of daily exercise off campus and here we are in my favourite, one of my favourite places. Wow, what a treat! So beautiful! You want to come in? 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 Chase? Chase? You want to come in, Chase? <laughs> she wants to come in. Chasey! Hello, girl. Okay, so we're going in to the Aladdin's cave that is also known as Dad's Den. Dad's Den. So I'm just going to take you in and we're going to have a quick look. Good job you kept that. Right, Dad, where are we? What's going on? Well, this, <laughs> this was the old uh, loft above the stable and down that wall there were are two pieces of floor that lift out so you could drop the corn in to feed the horses. And in the old, in my grandfather's day, the, when they'd thrash the corn, the bags of oats would be carried up here, along with the sh chaff for bedding the animals with. But I'm afraid I tend to uh, 
hoard things. <laughs> so let's just have a quick look round, and I'm going to point at a few things. So that is my old doll's house and stable that my granddad made for me. There's a bike. There's a decorator. What's yeah, this here? An old wine hand drill. A hand drill? Yeah. That's an old yard and heat for reasons. This is my old art project um a mirror that i made in cdt for my sister because she was a bit angry i thought she liked a barbed wire mirror and at the back of here is nick saying nothing as usual, as usual. <laughs> there is a big gate and we're hoping that we can use the gate as part of our perhaps part of our farm renovations campsite mm. renovations please now tell me the history of the gate. The gate was ordered by my dad and made by Chats for the States workshops. And I'm sure it's been on this loft for well over 40, maybe 50 years. He never got around to fixing it. There's posts and everything there. There's two old posts down there. So we're going to unearth it, hopefully. And the, the gate. If we can get past this bit of the floor. Save us a few quid and try not to go through the floor. Yeah. <laughs> We've just broken through to the stable below. Whoops. <laughs> Let's have a look. What is it? Hold it up. I don't know what it is. A glass blower. It is. If I said a pole axe, would you know any better? No. Right, in the old days, before stun slaughtering, you'd put a halter on the cow, a ring on the floor, head down on the floor, and the slaughterman would hit it in between the eyes with that, pierce a skull, then you'd stick a, a rod in to kill it, and then the actress would cut it up. Who would have, why would we have got that? Well, there's a slaughterhouse down Moor Road. Oh, really? I thought that was gone then. Yeah, nice. Right. Here it is. So we've got to try and get it out now. What do you think of it? Let's stand out the wind. I'd be delighted if you could use it, it'd be really pleased with me. Well this is the gate, first time it's seen daylight in I'd say 55 years, maybe more. And you wouldn't mind if it was used? I'd love you to use it. Well, we would love to use it, wouldn't we? So we've got the gates off and now we're going to try and get the posts which are very heavy into the tractor bucket. These guys are like, what are you looking at? What are you looking at? I didn't realise that it actually rained overnight, so <laughs> worn the wrong equipment uh, as I now have wet sheep rubbing up against my legs. My leggings are drenched and they stink. So uh, back down to the farm to get changed. <laughs> 